Welcome back to my channel. It's Coach Michelle Hong, and we are on to day five of the Stretch With Me series. So we're going to be focusing our stretches on the Beelman position today, whether you're doing it in a spiral or in a spin. So for those of you who want to learn how to do this awesome move, let's get to stretching. And we're going to go onto our hands and knees, go into a plank, and do a mini chaturanga. And go into an upward dog. Downward facing dog. We're going to stretch and pedal so we can feel the muscles being worked in the backs of our knees, our calves, and our hamstrings. And we're going to breathe in through our nose. Out through our mouth. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. So, the lot of, so a lot of the exercises and stretches that I show you all are pulled from inspirations of the different yoga classes, Pilates classes, sport aerobics, gymnastics classes that I've had over the years. And all those experiences have helped shape my body and how I'm able to be strong and also flexible. Okay, so this is a chaturanga. Basically, it's a push up where your elbows are sticking very closely to your body. You want to make sure that we're building that arm strength in order for us to be able to pull our leg above our head and hold it there and maintain that pose. Upward dog. Downward dog. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Let me know in the comment section below if you are also a yogi, if you've practiced yoga before, if you have ever experienced Pilates classes, bar classes, gymnastics. All these very off-ice activities are super essential for the growth of a skater. And what I love to emphasize with all my skaters is that we are athletes first, skaters second. So off-ice training is one of the most important things that I have all my students participate in. Whether you're a beginner, whether you're an adult, whether you're a competitive athlete, whether you're a non-competitive athlete, I think the best thing to do is implement off-ice training into your practice so that you can prevent yourself from being injured and you can have peak performance on the ice. So we're going to breathe in through our nose. Oh, through your mouth. Awesome. Back into our downward dog. To our hands and knees and we're gonna balance with our free leg up and then we're gonna pull it into our chest free leg up into our chest so we'll do this for ten nine eight we want to squeeze our glutes seven
Awesome. That one really works my glutes. My glutes. I need to be strong for that fielding position. We're gonna stretch out that glute by going to the pigeon pose. We're gonna bring our arms up. to the ceiling and we're going to flip our hands so that our fingertips are facing back towards our bodies, okay? And now you're going to remember to push your hips up, use both your uh, bottom half of your body and the top half of your body in unison. One, two, three, push, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, breathe in through your nose. Out your mouth. And if you're ready, I want you to lift one free foot up. Okay? You're gonna move into your nose. Out your mouth. And slowly drop it. 
Awesome. We're gonna try the other side. work the back muscles. Let's do Superman and lift. Ten. Nine. And hold it. Grab the inside of your feet and lift up. Breathe in, breathe out. And you can rock back and forth. Breathe in, breathe out. Squeeze the glutes. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> 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 Who knew? Stretching can be so exhausting. Ah, I think all of us do. And that's why many of you avoid to stretch. But let's work on it. Let's develop that routine. Let's make ourselves stronger. Let's make ourselves better than we were yesterday. We can do it together. Okay? Put your hands forward. And you're gonna lift up your glutes. So right now my toes are together and my knees are outward. And I'm working on stretching my lower back, my shoulders, my shoulder blades, and I'm pressing into my chest into the mat with my butt up into the air. Breathe in through your nose. And out through Breathe in through your nose. For the kneel mat. You can use your tool. You can wrap this around your foot. stretched like this in a really long time due to my schedule. But now that I've committed and you guys have keeping have been helping me keep accountable for this series, I'm inspired. I'm gonna go try it on the ice once I do and get more comfortable with these stretches and I hope you guys do the same thing.